Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is a question on the Sir Isaac Newton contest, which is a high school physics contest from Waterloo University. Give it a try, and I'll be right back with the solution. So in this question, we have a fuel-free Zamboni, where here we have some block three, and then on top of it, block one, and through a pulley rope system, block two. Now the only place where we have to consider friction is between block one and three. That's it. Between block three and the ground, there's no friction. And even though there is contact between two and three, no friction. All right, so what happens is block two falls, which causes the entire Zamboni or the entire system to move or change its position in X. And the question is, what is that displacement or what is its change in position from that initial position? Now to do this question, we're going to look at the center of mass or center of gravity of the system. Now, since that there is no external forces acting on the system in our horizontal or X component, the center of mass will remain constant. So how do you calculate center of mass? All right, so if we're going to calculate center of mass in X, so let's find its X position, because center of mass is a location in three dimensions, but we only care about the X dimension. So let's write X center of mass. Well, since we have three objects, one, two, and three, <laughs> we are going to write the mass of the first object times its position, X1, in this case, X1. Then we're going to add the mass of the second object multiplied by its position. And finally, add the mass of the third object multiplied by its position, and then we divide by the sum of all of those masses, m1, m2, and m3. So you can see this is going to leave us with a position for the center of mass. All right, so now what's going to happen is object 2 is going to fall. Now its uh, horizontal position won't change. However, it's going to pull object 1 over. Let's say it pulls it some distance h, and therefore 1 gets pulled some distance h. So object 1 is going to be changing its x position. Now since object 1, or block 1, moves to the right some distance h, in order to balance that, the entire system, blocks 3 mainly, but 1 and 2 are connected to it, so all of it will move to the left, let's say some distance d. And that's just simply Newton's third law. And the fact that that center of mass will stay in the same location because there's no external forces um, in our horizontal component. So let's look at what our center of mass would then be after these motions. So we have mass 1. Its initial position was x1. But then it moves to the right some distance h. And then to the left some distance d. Then we're going to add mass 2, and it's just going to move to the left some distance d. And then mass 3 does the same, sorry, x2. It's going to move to the left some distance d. And once again, we divide that all by the sum of those masses, m1 plus m2 plus m3. Now since uh, the center of mass is the same, we can equate these two equations. And when we equate the two equations, we'll see that uh, we have the same denominator, so they are going to cancel. And we are left with m1 x1. So I'm going to write this equation on the left, plus m2 x2, plus m3 x3, will equal this equation here on the right, m1 times x1 plus h minus d plus m2 times x2 minus d plus m3 times x3. 
minus d. All right, now if we were to expand these, you'll notice m1x1 will cancel with this m1x1. Here, m2x2 will cancel with this m2x2, if you subtract them from both sides. And finally, m3x3 will cancel with this m3x3. So that leaves us with 0 equal to, and we just continue to expand the rest, so we have m1h minus m1d plus, uh, well that's going to become a minus once we um, distribute it through, so minus m2d, and the same thing here, minus m3d. Alright, we can collect like terms, and when we do that, we solve for d, where d is um, the displacement from the initial position, and it equals to h, or m1h, all divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3, or 